Kobe, she's in the final. But this one, the final for the bronze. In the under 58 kilogram grouping, of course, two bronze medals in all combat sports. And both ladies getting ready to duke it out here. Just looking for that little grab underneath there, Barker. Trying to show that strength. Get an early signal of dominance. Yeah. Finishing, attracting the attention of the referee as well. Yeah, and Azerbaijan in a situation here where it looks like they're in really good position to steal the team title. They are eight points behind Russia. Russia doesn't have anybody in the medal mounds for this weight class, but they do have one wrestler going for the championship, so that's going to be at least nine points at the next weight class in 69. So we'll keep you updated on how that math works, which uh, may or may not be a, uh, a detriment to the broadcast because me and math don't always work well together. I was but relying on you as well, Jason. I'm if it wasn't for my wife teaching me Excel pivot tables, I would be lost. <laughs> well, there's no points lost so far. A minute gone. Nothing to add up, nothing in terms of totals, but the total of the time is going to tick down, and there is going to be a warning. Sinishin falling foul of the first wrath of the referee. The Olympic bronze medalist is Natalia Sinishin from Azerbaijan. Name, if it doesn't sound uh, very Azeri, well, it's not. She's originally from the Ukraine, transferred over in 2014. Interesting also about the uh, Ukrainian naming conventions. I kind of know a little bit about this because my grandmother was born in Odessa. Okay. But uh, sometimes you'll see Y's and I's basically either used uh, Interchangeably. Interchangeably, yes, that's the word I'm looking for. As a journalist, I should know that. Or uh, or together sometimes. You'll see an I and a Y, or a Y, Y and an I. Uh, just uh, variations in the uh, the alphabet, and the, the, which version of Cyrillic they like to use. Yeah. Well, the reason why the I's are on the scoreboard is that there is 15 seconds of a warning so far against Sinishin. She's going to have to get on her bike here and try and produce something. A little bit of locking up of the fingers on the blind side of the referee. The clock's fairly ticking here. This could be a useful little point here. And there is the, the not the caution again. i got to correct myself because that's been a rule change. You should be caution one now. It's just one point if you do not score in that 30-second shot. Clock, which you just saw on your screen, which you get after two passivity warnings. So Emma Shea Barka of Hungary, Budapest, world bronze medalist in 2016 and 2013, won the European Games in Baku, which is where Sinishin now trains out of. Absolutely, as you see, the home base. Basically, everything out of his Azerbaijan athletically really centers out of Baku, right on the uh, the banks of the Caspian Sea. And uh, we've both been there, too. We have a tremendous place, a great host for that European Games. And of course, a hotbed of athletic talent, very big on the combat sports, but big on the scoreboard at the moment. It's the Hungarian Barca. The bronze at stake here. And the young lady from Budapest in prime position. Sinishin's been a little bit slow and steady to start here. She'll be glad to retreat to her corner, get some advice. End of the first round. KG start, Jason. That's one way to put it. Uh, I'd say more tentative. Oh, there, oh, look at the thunder flap going on here from the uh, the corner there. Azerbaijan. Is that not a TV program? Or oh, not was Thunder Cats? Yes, yes. I think we were mentioning that earlier. I think she'll need to call forth the strength of 10 Tigers to overcome here. Could also be a game from Wiley Cat and Wiley Kid. But anyway, yeah, the, the Thunder Flap, the Towel Flap. Now, see, the Hungarians have a little different quality. They're going to work out the uh, like the, the, the biceps. The yeah, I actually was talking to Andy Rovat, who was coaching with Slovenia. He says he would rather do that than towel him down because that's more important, he believes, to the athlete to, to keep those muscles loose versus uh, maybe drying you off. Getting the lactic out of the muscles so that they're free and ready to go. The referee just checking. There's no sweat on the arm, so they've got an unencumbered surface to grab as he starts the clock for the second period. Straight away, Barca's on it, tries to get that dominant grip. She's got a good hold under the elbow, trying to turn Sinishin round here. The strength at the moment with Barker. She's making use of that one point lead and trying to stay active here. The referee not having cause to interrupt so far. In fact, Sinishin getting that first admonishment. Oof, well, that Ooh, a, a right hook there. Um, 
Yeah, I'd say uh, you're the combat sports expert. That, that looked like a pretty. Your, your sports, you see a lot more of those. I, we see it uh, when it's not really allowed. Yeah. Heavy on the hands, I guess. Absolutely, and sword on the jaw for finishing. Maybe, maybe she's just helping her get another cauliflower here. <laughs> well, regardless of the pain, the most painful viewing at the moment for finishing, she's still a point down. And bereft of ideas at the moment, the power again from Barker. There's the passivity warning against Sinishin. Now she's on the shot clock again. Tough time for her. Yeah. I'm trying to push the action. That overtie to the near side. I'm trying to counter the underhook. Tighten that pressure in. I'm trying to create an angle. Barca has been very good trying to tie up the head. She'd come up with a, almost a head and arm and then try to trip the outside foot. She did that in the previous rounds. Yep, she had to go at it there, but she's going to have another point, another crumb of comfort for her. Two to the good here. Trying to reach for the singlet there as well, Barca on the blind side of the referee. Sinishin really up against it now. Tough times for the battler from back as she tries to shoot for those legs, but not with any real conviction. Better attempt this time, though. Oh, well, she got to be careful if she doesn't get hit for a caution, too. She does get a kit for a caution, too, for fleeing, and that is confirmed, and that has drastically changed the complexion of this match. Barca tried to defend it, but instead of defending and circling back in, she went straight out of bounds. That is fleeing the mat. Caution, that's a penalty, and two points for Sinishin. Now she has a two-point action and a caution in her favor. She's got criteria now with 40 seconds to go. Well, how quickly fortunes change that caution for cowardice for Barca on the back foot. And now, oh, oh big throw, though. Is she going to get two or four here? Looks four like four. and four confirmed. I was wondering if they were going to go two if the knee was on the ground before she whipped her over, but she went feet to danger, four points, and Sinishin, now we're seeing some great action in the last minute. Where was this the first five? Exactly, Sinishin has tried to sneak around the back there to get a takedown of her own, but that huge four-point throw. Well, let's put Barca into pole position here as we go into the last 15 seconds. The referee stands them up. Love that video game. <laughs> Did you say poor position or pole position? Pole. Sorry, it was your accent. <laughs> well, accentuating no the differences. No, <laughs> accentuating the differences at the moment on the scoreboard, the four-point gap. As uh, a little medical intervention here where you can see quite clearly some claret spilled. It takes blood, sweat, and tears to win. Yeah, this was the big throw, Jason. Yeah, you see pressuring in Lucinishin and just whipping over that underhook, or the overtie. It was just... Uh, Good mat awareness, good hips, and he's like, ah, oh, Dios mio, as we <laughs> celebrate Cinco de Mayo. I love that. I, I don't think that. they do that over here in Serbia. No, but likewise, I echo those sentiments. Well, who's going to have the force down the stretch here into the last 10 seconds here? Sinishin trying to chip and charge and go for it here. Barca trying to sneak round the back. Well, it's been all action in the last gasp seconds here. But Barca, fantastic value for bronze. And Jason is on the way back to Budapest with that one. Fantastic. Yo, know, she's just so fun to watch. She is, she is really emerged as one of my favorite wrestlers. Win or lose when she's on the mat, you want to watch Emma Shea Barca. She's got a nice bronze medal to go with uh, her third. She's got three of them now to go with her European uh, Games gold. Again, Games and Championship, two different things. But she's got now 13, 16, and 17 bronze medals from here at the European Championships. Well, that triumphant of bronze medals.